Well, hello, folks. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can easily create a custom uh, ClickBank RSS feeds. Basically, those are the feeds that will uh, have uh, the uh, the ClickBank products, those products that are listed in the ClickBank marketplace. Uh, not only you can customize the feed, you can also include your affiliate ID in the feed so that uh, if uh, you will have a customer who clicks on the feed link, then of course it will be your sale, not uh, some other sale. Uh, to create a custom RSS feed, you need to go to the cbtrends.com website, so cbtrends.com, and click on the ClickBank RSS feeds link. So when the page loads, so that was the link, okay, so when the page loads, you will see quite a long page that explains how you can create RSS feeds and some sample feeds so that it will be easier for you to get started with the, with the feeds, okay. So let's click on the feed and let's see how the feed looks like. Uh, as you can see, the feed uh, has the title for the product, has the thumbnail for the product, uh, a web page, then it has the description of the products, and has the statistics, uh, the marketplace statistics for the products. All these can be customized. So let's see how. First, of course, uh, we would like to look at how we can embed our own affiliate ID into this uh, RSS feed. Okay, so the A parameter in the URL is the one that sets your affiliate ID. Okay, so I'm going to say that this is affiliate 321. Okay, just a sample, of course, that affiliate does not exist, but it's a sample just to demonstrate the points. And I'm going to click enter so the feed will reload. Okay, so the feed reloads. Okay, and now let's test it. So I'm going to click on the first product, which is Earth for Energy. Okay, so the page loads. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom where there would be the link to the ClickBank sales page. Okay, this order now. Okay. And when the sales page loads, the order form loads, when you scroll all the way down, you will see that affiliate is indeed set to be affiliate 3 to 1. Okay, so that works. Okay. So let's, kind of, let's go back and let's uh, change some other parameters. Okay. So this is, oh, come on, let me go back to the feed. Okay, so this is the feed. Okay, so let's go to the page. Okay, so first of all, uh, you can change your categories. You can specify as many categories as you want. Okay, that's the C parameter. Just set the uh, C to be equal to the uh, category number separated by the commas. Okay, you can uh, specify multiple category numbers. Now, where would you get those category numbers? Quite simple. If you scroll to the bottom of the page, you will see that all the categories, they have numbers, and you just find the category that uh, you are interested in and uh, make record of this number and use this value for the C parameter. Okay, so for example, I would like to get the products from Fine Arts. So that is 14. Okay, so 14, and the parameter is C. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my feed, so see, and this time the products from the selected category are displayed, which is the arts category. Okay, so now you know how to how we can change uh, how you can change the categories. Okay, now let's see at the number. Uh, let's look at the number of, of the records. So by default, ten records will be displayed. Okay, so if you want more or less. Okay, so just change the value. Uh, the current maximum is set to be 100. Okay, so that's the R parameter. S parameter is quite interesting because it allows you to sort the products in the feed by either category, uh, or either by popularity, or by gravity, earn per sale, referred, percent per sale, or commission. These are the values that you can use. Okay, so for example, I want, I would like to get uh, the highest gravity products in my feed. Okay, so I will use 2 for the S parameter. Okay, 
Now, with the gravity, I would like the highest gravity product to be on top. Therefore, the sort order has to be descending. Okay, so O will be D, value for O parameter will be D, and value for S parameter will be 2. Okay, S parameter equal to 2, and O parameter equal to D, specify D uh, to be lowercase. Okay, so the page got refreshed, and uh, you can see that Gemorama is the highest gravity product. It has the current value of gravity for Gemorama is uh, uh, 103. Okay, then we have movie downloads, which is 61. Then we have uh, a rocket piano product, which is 60, and so forth. Okay, now. Sometimes you would like to exclude the statistics uh, uh, from the feed. Okay, that can also be done. Okay, so all we need to do is to use ns equal to yes parameter. It's an optional parameter. So if you would like to exclude the statistics from your feed, okay, just attach the ampersand to the end of the URL and type ns equal to yes and hit enter and you will see that now the feed is displayed and uh, the statistic is not here so as you can see it's quite simple it's very actually simple to create your own custom rss feeds okay so voila now you know how to do that good luck